So in 2017, I joined the IOD. Um, my father prompted me to join. Um, he knew that as a young person, a young director coming out of university, I would need some form of formal training. Um, looking at succession planning for, for my family business that I'm in now, he knew as the business grew, I'd need some more robust training, some more uh, best practice training. And as such, we signed up and, and I signed up to the uh, uh, chartered director course and have since taken the certificate in company direction and looking to take my diploma this year. I think the, the, the three things I obviously have really, really felt through joining the IOD is, is the connections and the networking, is the development of myself and, and the, actually the one thing that we haven't spoken about is the ability to influence. So I'm also a member of the, the policy voice and actually at the time I didn't think that you know, my input would have a real impact Yet now every month, my answers that I give through the policy voice survey, they influence central government and they influence uh, the notions of the IOD as well. So actually, again, it's having that part in saying real life experiences that we're facing every day in our business and getting that information back to the people that need it is really important. Personal development and ensuring that you know, you've got the world class standard that the IOD offer in their training and development programs. Um, again, from aspiring directors to entrepreneurs to senior business leaders to FTSE 100 directors, they, they, the, the, the whole span is there um, and everybody can always improve. And then the networking connection aspect of it as well, really important. You know, again, by sitting on those courses, I was able to sit as a 21 year old in the same room as FTSE 100 leaders um, and still speak to some of them today, you know, to be able to get their insights and actions, which is huge.